Now, when we take our seat and wait for performance to start, what most of us are probably unaware of is the time it takes for an actor to prepare for a role. Don't believe me? Well, to prove it, we follow George Asprey as he prepares for and performs the role of Scar. So for an evening performance, I normally arrive at about 5.30. Uh, we have to be here at uh, 6.15 for vocal warm-up. Once I start vocal warm-up, that's it, I'm working. Put Day George away and, and get concentrated on, on the Lion King George. So vocal warm-up is at 6.15, that'll finish at 6.30. I'm straight up to makeup. I think a lot of actors find villains fun to play because there just seems to be more to explore. Why is he so bad? What happened to him in childhood to turn him into this sort of unforgiving character? Finding that um, within the character that you're playing is one of the most enjoyable processes of, of playing the character in that respect. Not only does each actor have to master all their character's lines and movement, but they also have to do that while wearing some of the most complicated costumes imaginable. So how does Scars measure up? Probably the most difficult costume in the show, for an act, from an actor's point of view, would be the Scar costume. It involves so many elements that the actor has to sort of take on board, bring them together as a unit and portray the, the, the character seamlessly. On my right side I have a motor for the boom and on the left side I have a motor for the mask. So I have two motors, a battery pack and copious amounts of wires. Then I have a pair of leather chaps that goes on top of that. Then I have uh, a leotard uh, top. Then I have a cage that goes on top of that. It weighs a lot, it's 15 kilos. So I think that's just over two and a half stone. The lion without his claws. At 25 past seven, the beginner's call is called and I'm straight down on stage getting ready. Part of the trick of, of having a mechanical mask is to make it look non-mechanical. So it has to look like it's an organic part of the movement. So when the mask comes out, it has to look like it flows from the character's intention. It's actually a wonderful tool to have because it's, it's another layer of expression that you have as an actor available to you. I've played him for 11 years and I don't think I could have played him for 11 years if I didn't find it so enjoyable. And I do, I, I find it immensely fun to play. When I come out for the curtain call and I'm met by a chorus of boos, Inwardly, I know that I've done a good job. People say, doesn't it hurt? And I go, no, that's, that's just the way it should be. They boo when I come on stage, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> 